the greatest part about all of this is that we trust him so much. When he offered us the, the parts, I was like, well, if Mr. Eastwood thinks we can do it, then we can do it. I just look around sometimes and I'll look at Mr. Eastwood like across the room and I'll be like, oh my God, like I'm standing here playing myself in a Clint Eastwood movie about my life. I'm like, this is, this is just insane. So it's just mind blowing. I, I can't even describe it much more than that, to be honest. It's, it's crazy. At first, I thought this would be easy because, like, how can we screw up? Be playing ourselves, you know? Like, this is the gimme. Let's do it. And then, uh, as I've done it, I've kind of realized, like, maybe it would probably be a, maybe a little easier playing someone else because, like, as ourselves, like, you still have your own natural insecurities. You know what I'm saying? And so you're, I think, maybe a little bit more self-conscious on camera because you're literally portraying yourself. As if I was playing someone else, I feel like I would be a lot more free because I wouldn't care, you know, how I look or how I acted because I'm trying to be this. Being in the actual location uh, really helps, like, set the vibe and the environment because, like, the regular people of this country and everyone, all the tourists are just going around us, so it feels like we're literally, you know, there. And I forget that we're making a movie sometimes, and I just feel like we're on vacation again. So I think uh, instead of, like, being on a soundstage in Burbank or whatever, on a, on a studio lot at Warner Brothers or something, it, it, uh, it really brings out, you know, kind of the realism of everything. And it helps us, especially. We are best friends, yes, but we, you know, went our separate ways in life and we did our own thing. You know, I went to the military. Uh, Alec also went to the military, but a different branch. Uh, Anthony went to college. Uh, you know, we all kind of went to different high schools at, at a certain point in time. And so we all just kind of, you know, went off and did our own thing. And then, but kind of fate brought us back together for that moment. And what's cool about it is kind of like we went you know and we're set off to go do, do different things in life but at the end of the day it's kind of like we went away so we could come back together and do what we did because when we were on the train it was like kind of like we had like every perfect person that we needed there it's been really surreal for me to uh, kind of go back and relive everything exactly where it happened. Uh, it's kind of like I get flashbacks, like we just did the scene with the rocker dude, and he looked exactly like how I remember the guy, and uh, it was like legit we were there again. And so, I don't know, it's like, it literally is like I'm being put back in, in time, and I'm just reliving everything. It's just really cool to look back at the real footage and see like how crazy it was because I try and describe it to people and it's I mean, it's it's hard you know to get someone to really picture what it was like and like how kind of frightened we all were but at the same time we knew we had to do something we couldn't just be paralyzed by the fear